Hey, I'm Carolyn Herforth, and if you are a service-based entrepreneur and you are feeling a little lost or confused, bewildered, a little frustrated, or maybe a lot frustrated, wondering when in the hell you're gonna be able to start making money, I want you to stick around because I'm gonna show you a funny looking chart that explains everything and what's going on and help you see exactly why that's happening. I'm CEO and founder of The Biz Truth. I've played a hand in the launch of over 100 businesses and helped thousands more grow over the last 14 years. This all came about working on a cocktail napkin one night, if you can call working with cocktails, working. And I just started scratching out. I was talking with some of my fellow entrepreneurs, talking about this is what happens, here's what goes on. And it happens over and over and over again. Every entrepreneur I meet goes through this same cycle and I'm about to explain that to you. So first I wanna tell you about someone I know because I think you're gonna be able to, um, probably gonna relate to what she went through. Her name is Jennifer. She runs a PR agency and I met her last fall when I spoke at a large women's entrepreneur conference in New York. And she called me after that and she, she'd been in PR for a really long time and really, really knows her stuff. But the day we spoke, she um, told me that she had just rebranded her business and she was questioning everything. She didn't know if she was making the right moves and she was floundering and, and, and she was scared. She was really scared and she felt unconfident is what she told me. She felt unconfident and really questioning a lot of things. And she told me that she had no financial security at all. And all she did was like, okay, I gotta make enough money to pay the bills. And then she would pay the bills and it'd start all over. So there's, there was this cycle of just trying to pay the bills every month. That cycle wasn't working for her, obviously. And so what I shared with her that day is what I'm about to share with you. And if you wonder why you can't figure out, you know, why, why you can't get ahead or figure this whole money-making thing out, I know that this insight is gonna help you. And it's all about the evolution of an entrepreneur. You've probably heard, may have heard, that being an entrepreneur, owning your own business is the greatest personal development course on the planet. And it's what I call the entrepreneurial evolution. And we all go through it. You can't escape it. If you own a business, that's the deal. And there are four phases in the evolution of an entrepreneur. So there are four, and there are three components that make this come alive. And the first one, I wanna make sure I've got the right color, the first one is momentum. And this is the money that comes into your business. These are your sales. The second one is, hello, New York City airplane. The second one is money. And that's the money that's going out of your business. It's the money that you're investing in your business. And then the third component is your morale and that's how you feel about your business at any given time so when you start your business your morale's way the heck up there you're so excited you're passionate about what you're doing you're making investments in your business and you're you're investing in maybe some coaches and doing some marketing and you're you're getting your business set up and you're telling everybody you know what you're up to, which is super exciting. And in the beginning, your money momentum, your sales are low, okay? But what happens is you expect, you're going along for a little bit and you're like, I thought my sales would be up here or up here, maybe even up here. So it's like, you've got this like wish of where you thought your sales would be by now. When that happens, it's not. And what happens is you hit the panic button and start buying more stuff in the hope that it's gonna help you build and grow your business. Now, panic button, we gotta go spend some money. We gotta go put more money into the business. And so we're gonna learn how to do webinars or maybe how to get clients through social media or you start doing Facebook ads or you learn how to speak from the stage or you maybe do a rebrand like Jennifer did or maybe you hire a coach or join a mastermind and you've got information coming at you from every direction. Your inbox is 
absolutely loaded. And that information, some of it might go against your common sense. Some of it may absolutely conflict with what your intuition is telling you. So you start second guessing yourself and you can barely keep up with all of the, the modules in your study programs and get dinner on the table and make time for self-care. And so your morale starts to dip, okay? Starts to, to flag. And although you might be making a little more money, it's still not enough. And because you'd expected to be making so much more by now. And you might start to find yourself on the verge of a little bit of a breakdown due to financial pressure. And you know you're in phase three when this happens. I've got all three markers. Your sales, wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Your morale comes down here and you're like, okay, I've had enough of this. And this is what Seth Godin calls the dip. And it's what I call the moment of truth. Because here's the deal. Like Jennifer, you might feel confused and scattered and questioning everything at this moment. And you're torn between sheer panic one moment and then absolute hope that everything is gonna be okay and that it'll all work out. We're human, right? We always want the best. And I do call this phase three the moment of truth because it's decision time. Whether you're gonna to commit to doing it right or whether, and so that your business flies or concede and let it fold. So let's start with a business that doesn't work. So you make the decision to concede. There is no shame in it, no embarrassment. People go out of business every single day. And it's you're just tired of banging your head against the wall. So you stop investing. Wah, 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 down there, you stop investing. And you um, obviously don't have any business coming in because you're like, I'm out. And your morale follows. That's when you're just like, okay, done, done. I'm out. That's a business that folds. Okay. That's the concede scenario. Now I want to show you what it looks like with a business that bounces. Okay. So you commit, you commit. And this is when you get honest with yourself. You stop following what the crowd is doing and you stop letting ego and fear drive your decisions. You invest in the right things. Invest money, red, out. You invest in the right things. And those, the right things fall under five specific areas or what I call pillars. And spoiler alert for you, these pillars are not bright, shiny objects. They're not blueprints that are going to help you make a hundred thousand dollars in six seconds. That's not what this is about. It's not these promises. In fact, the five pillars are the exact opposite of probably a lot of the stuff you may have invested in over here. I'm sure some of this worked. Your revenues went up a little bit, but this, this is a much more strategic than that. And getting to phase four requires the right investments in your business to support your unique situation. And by doing that, it triggers your revenues to go up. Now we're up here, folks. Now we're talking, right? And your morale follows. So if I were to really put this funny looking chart together, Let's start with where we started before. We've got morale, Womp. okay. It's following, I should have started with the money because you know, the green, because it seems like that's everything that we do. So here you're like, not much, not much, not much. Woo, I made the right investments. And here's what that looks like. And then those can even off. You know, you always have to invest in your business. I've been in business for 14 years. I still hire coaches, join masterminds. I do things that are gonna help my business grow because I know that's like, I can't stay stagnant. I absolutely knew. So that's what this funny looking chart looks like. That's what it, where it's all put together, except the real chart is a little more polished. 
we tossed a copy of the polished version up here for you to take a look at. And when I'm not teaching this on my patio in front of a video camera, this is the point when entrepreneurs tell me, you nailed it. You explained exactly what I've been going through. You're spot on. Remember Jennifer? You can probably figure out that she was in the dip when we spoke that day and she was in it deep. I was able to help her pinpoint exactly where she was and exactly what she needed to build a truly successful business to meet her goals and then ask whether she wanted to commit or concede because that's the question, right? And she chose to commit. She chose to commit to getting out of the dip because she wanted to pay off her debt. She wanted to be able to travel and she wanted to move to Florida. And she knew that staying in the dip or conceding weren't options for her. And I meet women like Jennifer every day who are working so hard and wondering what in the hell they're doing wrong and trying to figure out what it's gonna take things, take, you know, take to flip things around. And that's why I'm sharing this with you today. Which phase are you in? Which phase is it that you're in? So are you in phase one where you're like, woohoo, you're so excited, you're like all pumped up about everything that you're doing every day, can't wait to jump out of bed? Are you in phase two where you've hit that panic button? Are you in phase three? Are you in the dip? Or are you in phase four where you've got regular revenue coming in? And actually, you know, phase four, it's when you've got, <laughs> you're not worrying about, am I gonna be able to pay my bills every month? And you know, there are some of you who might be taking another lap. So maybe you hit phase four and you're like, oh, I want to do another program launch. Oh, I want to start hiring employees. Oh, I want to open an office in San Francisco or New York City. How about that? Come see me. So, so there's, we're always evolving. We're always growing. And you know, as entrepreneurs, we have no shortage of ideas. You know that, right? That's what this funny looking chart is all about. That's the evolution of an entrepreneur. And I'm gonna tell you, based on what you answered in terms of what phase you're in, I wanna share with you that, I wonder if you can guess it. Last time I pulled um, a live group of entrepreneurs on a webinar I did, and I asked them to tell me which phase they're in, 78.2% of entrepreneurs told me they were in the dip. So if you identify with that, you're not alone. And look, 14% are in phase two going into the dip. That's a pretty accurate view of where people are. And now that you know where you are in the evolution of an entrepreneur, you don't have to struggle. You don't have to struggle anymore. You can't skip the dip. I'm gonna tell you, you can't skip that. I know, I know, I'm really sorry. But you cannot skip the dip. This is something, that's an awareness raiser that's absolutely required. It's like a rite of passage for being an entrepreneur. But having that awareness is the first step to getting you out of the dip and into phase four, which is money-making territory. So are you ready? Are you ready for some help? If you'd like, we can talk about what's going on in your business and what's going on for you. And we can discuss the best next steps for your unique situation. When I've got room in my schedule, I offer free sessions because I've been there. And even though it's been a while, I will never forget sitting in my living room, having absolutely the biggest meltdowns you could ever imagine and not knowing who to turn to, who to talk to, what to do, where to go for help. I felt, even in a city of eight million people, I felt so lost and so alone. It was not a good feeling. I don't want you to have to go through that for another day. Having a conversation is the best way for me to learn more about you and get a clear view about what's going on. This opportunity for you to talk about your business is for anyone who wants to get an honest and clear view of where your business is headed. Gain clarity around what you need to do to resolve any problems you're experiencing and plot out the best next steps for getting out of the dip and into money-making territory. That might involve a resource I offer or maybe I refer you to someone who can better serve you. And you've probably figured out by now there's no risk of a hard sell if you want to talk to me about your business and your challenges. The bottom line is that you get what you need to move as quickly into phase four as possible.
there is an assessment that I want you to fill out before we talk. And the reason I want you to do that is because I really want to understand where you're coming from and whether or not I'm going to have a pretty good sense that I'm going to be a good resource for you. The session is called Your Evolution Solution Session. And the acronym happens to be YES, which is a happy accident. So if you go to thebizfruit.com slash YES, Y-E-S-S, you'll find that answer a few questions and you'll be good to go during our session i'll help you gain clarity on the five pillars shown here and we'll talk about what's possible for you these five pillars are what every single solitary entrepreneur needs to have in place to get to stage four every person is strong in some areas and weak in others and the pillars are done in a certain order in and have certain dependencies on each other depending on which stage you're in. So I'm gonna help you see what you're doing right and what steps you need to take to transition yourself into phase four with as little time and effort as possible. For example, when Jennifer Crochet and I spoke about her business in this session, I immediately spotted three specific areas that were interfering with her goals. She ended up choosing to work with me and her confidence factor is off the charts. She's landing much bigger clients who are paying two to five times more than she used to ask. And now she has steady, reliable, predictable income doing what she loves. And as a result, she's paid off three credit cards. She's set to pay off five more in the next few weeks. Her credit score went up over 40 points and she also expects to pay off her car loan a year early. And the cherry for her as a result of her financial situation improving so drastically, she was approved for her dream apartment in Florida and is moving in less than two months. That's pretty freaking amazing considering we met eight months ago, less than eight months ago. Gary Lou says, this is your world, shape it or someone else will. And I have that quote sitting on my desk and I look at it every single day because I know it's up to me. It's up to me to make decisions. It's up to me to commit. It's up to me to concede. And I also know it's up to me to do the very best I can that's in the interest of my clients, the entrepreneurs out there who are out, who are here to make such an impact on the world. So if you're in the dip or see that you're headed there, are not interested in conceding and like the idea of having reliable income and steady growth, all you need to do is go to thebiztruth.com slash yes, Y-E-S-S, and complete the assessment. No matter what you choose to do going forward, you'll be making these choices from a place of knowing where you are in the evolution of an entrepreneur. I'm glad you made it to the end of this video, and I look forward to hearing from you.